Funk is looking to buy the Chicago Sun-Times, and that is the subject of Ken Doctor's latest column up right now on thestreet.com. And Ken joins me now from Oslo. So, Ken, explain the significance of Trunk's move here. Trunk also owns the Chicago Tribune. So it owns the Tribune and nine, uh, nine properties around the country, including the LA Times and, and Baltimore Sun. So we know that uh, Trunk has been kind of quiet for the last month after, uh, after all kinds of activity earlier this year and after Gannett tried to buy it. Uh, and Michael Farrow, the chairman, has said that he wants to expand the company. In, in one way, it's no surprise because uh, he, uh, in fact, has been a part owner of the Chicago Sun-Times that that ownership uh, put into some kind of trust. But it's kind of inevitable that these papers would be combined. And does the deal get approved by regulators, in your view? It, it, it would need to be, and it most probably will be. If you go back to last year, the uh, trunk tried to buy the Orange County Register. And at the very last minute, the Department of Justice blocked it and, uh, and surprised and uh, exasperated trunk. This time, it went to the DOJ within the last month, they told me yesterday, when I talked to CEO Justin Dearborn, and they said, okay, we don't want any problems this time. And they said, okay, well, do everything you can to find another buyer so that you won't create a single ownership. And uh, they, uh, they, did, they did, they said they have not found anybody, but then took the unusual step of having the Chicago Sun-Times actually put an ad on its front page today saying the newspaper was for sale, and if you want to apply to be the uh, owner of the Sun-Times, do so by June 1st. All right, well, it's a fascinating story, and I urge everyone to read Ken Doctor's column up right now on thestreet.com. Ken, thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome. All right, I'm Scott Gam, and you're watching The Street.